What's up guys, my name is Ryan45678 and welcome back to the Edger Bike Project. Now this thing in front of you is the mounting plate for the torque converter. And right here is how it's hot. Uh, it's a bearing plate for the bearing for the jack shaft. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to drill some holes for the torque converter to mount directly to this plate. The whole reason behind doing that is because the engine has no mounting holes for a torque converter or anything. So that's what we're going to have to do. So I think this will fit in this thing. I'm not totally sure. But uh, either way, we'll find a way. Actually, you know what? I could clamp this uh, this bearing plate right here to it. So that, that'll work. So what I need to do is take the torque converter and draw where I want the holes and then start drilling them. So we'll get right to it. But yeah, uh, before we get started, don't forget to leave a like on the video if you end up enjoying it. Subscribe if you want to see more projects, including the Edger bike. And as always, if you want to support the channel, there are affiliate links in the description below. And also, if you missed the, the previous parts of this project, there is a whole playlist for the Edger bike. So check those out if you haven't seen them already. So what I want to do is I want to take this bearing, put it, put the jack shaft in it, and kind of just fit it. I need to bolt the... Uh, need to bolt the bearing to this this plate and check the fit and where the holes need to go. But before I do that, I need to fix some issues I had when I was welding. Uh, some splatter got in here, and now this shaft will not fit. I've got a little tiny file. Let's see if I can't fix that problem. I was hoping they would just kind of flick off, but they don't. I'm trying not to mess up the surface too much because this is a very smooth machine surface. I think that's the only one inside. The rest are on the outside. There we go. Yeah, if I put it in with the keyway, it's fine. And I can line up the screw with the keyway, although there's also one in at the bottom of this bolt. So, I don't know. For now, that'll work. Uh, bolt it on with an Allen key and see how it fits. So I don't need to be too picky about where it is because, this, uh, I mean, eventually I'll have to figure out exactly where to put the sprocket, whether here or on this side if it'll fit. I don't know. But for now, uh, just tighten it because I need to get an idea of where the center is. I'll tighten this down. Really only need one. And this might be the one with the... Yeah, I'm gonna have to fix that because that's the one with the oh, piece of welding splatter in it. Looks like neither of them want to go. Okay, the other one was going. I think the keyway was in the way, maybe? Alright, so I finally got it. It'll go in there. It takes a little bit and it might scratch it a little bit, but that's fine. Uh, and I also figured out that it helps if you use the, si the right size uh, Allen key to screw this thing in. I was using a little bit too small a one. Once I have some key material, I will, I, I'll put the key, although you know what, I can't do that. Not on these. On the sprockets I have to though, because they are keyed. But these are not keyed, so I don't have to worry about it on those. Just do this, and since they, all they do is let the thing spin, all it needs is enough grip on it to, to keep the shaft in the bearing, so it's not a huge deal. I know you can't see what I'm doing, I can, I can barely see what I'm doing. But trust me, it's 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 doing. At least I thought it was. So as you can see, this is the jack shaft. It's gonna be about like this, just like that. That's pretty good if I do say so myself. So if we get the torque converter pretty much centered on here, it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, get some holes. I'd like to hold it like this, just to make it easier to work with. But if I need to, I can do it like this. But I think what I can do is take uh, take some different holes from the torque converter and do it like that. That's why there's so many. Yeah, if I do that, I can just pick the best hole to put it on. Like for this one, I would pick this hole. For this one, I'd pick this hole. This one, I'd probably pick this hole. This one, I'd probably pick this hole. So yeah, I'll do that really quick. And really, honestly, I should probably clamp this, but I don't have to. That's centered pretty good on there. So let me draw some holes. Dang, it probably broke the pencil. Okay, keep it on there. This one. The last one. Uh, be about right here. Did I shift? I shifted a tiny bit. That's good. Right there. Okay. That's gonna work. We got our holes. 
All right, so uh, next step is to measure these bolts, figure out how big of a hole to drill. And what I'd like to do is tap these holes so I don't have to use nuts because that's the original way this was supposed to be. So uh, what we'll do is measure these for the actual size and the threads, and then we'll drill and tap that hole. So I, these look like, I hope they're not the same size as uh, that other one. If they are, I'll probably have to break down and just buy some bolts, but otherwise I'd prefer not to have to do that. So let's see. All right, so these are 0 0.31, which sounds a whole lot like, uh, is it 5 16 Yeah, 5 16 So that's the size, and please don't let the threads be 20, because if they are, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Please tell me these don't fit. And they freaking fit. Son of a biscuit nugget. So I've got more 5 16 20 bolts. So I'm gonna have to find some other ones that are also 5 16 but different threads. That's annoying. So I basically can't use any of the bolts in this bag. You know what I can do though, since I did the same thing for this one, I can just go ahead and drill and tap the holes uh, with a 17 64 and then buy some bolts later, because I don't have to bolt it on today. Uh, I just need to get a general idea. I can even take some random bolts that don't even fit and stick them in there to hold it, because that's mainly what, what I want. I want to be able to get this part mounted, know where it's going to be, so I can know where to put the other stuff, <laughs> if that makes sense. So hopefully we'll be able to get that, and maybe today if I feel like it, I might go buy some, some bolts. So let's go ahead and drill these holes. All right, so like I said, I was able to clamp this to here. I found a 1764 drill bit. It actually wasn't marked, but I used calipers and it's the right size. So, I'll go ahead and start drilling. Hopefully, you can see that. Uh, if not, I'll show you guys at the end. But I've got one hole done, and I've got this one, this one, and uh, wherever that one is to go. I'm not sure exactly how that's going to work. This one will probably be okay. This one will probably be okay. This one's way far out there, so I may just have to go slow. It does seem pretty steady, so. I might not have anything to worry about. All right, hole number two drilled. Uh, this one was a little bendy. It didn't seem like it just by touching it, but it uh, it is. But I think it turned out okay, because it goes straight down in there. No problem. So yeah, I'll move on to this one. And I think for this one, I may have to do something different or go slow, I don't know, because it's about the same as this one. So we'll see. All right, we got all four holes drilled. It's the best way to check this. About like that. I guess it would help if I had it facing the right way. So something like this. Um, there, 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 and there. That looks good to me. You could stick a, uh, you could stick something through there, and it would be perfect. So let's go ahead and tap these holes. All right, um, all done. We got these tapped, so we should be good to go. I guess now we need to focus on mounting the engine. And what I could do is, because I don't know if I want to weld today. I have time. I guess I might as well. <laughs> Might as well. But yeah, get the engine mounted probably after that. Uh, get the jack shaft set up. Although I do want to make sure everything will work before I solidify it and get it for sure done. That's the thing. So I don't know. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll uh, get the engine kind of situated, figure out where it's going to go, where everything generally is going to be, and then we can figure out where to put the jack shaft and about how long to leave out. So this is what we got for the engine mounts. As you can see, there are holes. Uh, I'm gonna cut those off because they're welded and then clean them up because they're really, really greasy. I don't want that uh, while I'm welding. I don't want to get any of that on anything else while I'm welding. All right, so I just cut these off, washed them. Uh, now I'm gonna wire brush the paint off. So I went ahead and cut another extra piece for this because uh, this one isn't quite short, isn't quite long enough, as you can see. Uh, and I'll probably have to cut another one for the jack shaft wherever it ends up. So we'll see about that. But now what I'm going to do is test the fit of some of these things. So I've got these bolted on loosely, uh, or this bearing, I mean. I may have to shim it to make it fit right, because right now, uh, when it's flat, it's not exactly level, because things didn't weld exactly right. Um, so we'll see. Or I could shim uh, this thing in the bolt holes. We'll see. Uh, I've got some, I believe these are... 5 16 18 pieces right here. There's uh, with some rod and random bits. So they should hopefully fit in our holes and at least give us a estimate of how the thing will fit. It's not 100% perfect, but it's gonna be good enough. And I've only got three, so that's fine. Like that, and that's our, that's our fit. So 
You know what? That might be okay. It is a little bit off though. So depending on how it sits, yeah, that would be a lot better if I could shim it like that. So I may do that. I think maybe we'll try it. And if we need to shim it, we will. But for now, uh, let's see where this thing is gonna go. So I would like the jack shaft to be pretty darn close if it can. It doesn't have to be, it, and I would actually prefer it to be higher than lower, just so it doesn't get in the way of my feet. Uh, so I could hang it here, actually. The output would be approximately here. So I could I would put it probably somewhere right about here in the middle. Hopefully you can see all that. So that that's about right, and the output uh, will have to hang off a little bit. But not much, which is awesome. So I'd say about here, let's see what that is. That is really not a lot at all. Uh, yeah, one major thing I'm gonna have to do is file some of these down. I got some of them with a hammer, but not all of them are gonna come off that way. So we can shift it this way quite a bit, I believe. Shift it uh, just about goes through there. There we go. All right, so I got bolts. Uh, I got these about where they're gonna go. Uh, I could actually loosen this one quite a bit. By that I mean slide it that way. And I'm gonna have it pretty high up, so I like that, I guess. Wow, this can actually be really close together. Surprisingly close. So about like that, it's perfect, I think. So go ahead and lock that in. And that will lock that in. So that's all the prep for now until we get welding. All right, so I'm about to start welding. I got this second jack shaft clamped. And what I did uh, was I checked the sprocket that goes on there. The end of it, it only goes to about here, so I can cover that. And really, I want it to be as high as possible to get as much material for the, the swing arms. A little bit at an off angle, but that's okay. It's not going to be absolutely perfect. If I need to, I, I can fix that by adding washers. I might do that later, so that would help a little bit. And I think what I'm going to do is tack this uh, for the base by hand, just by feel. Uh, and then screw the engine to it, screw the other one to it, and weld it where it is. And weld an extension off to it. And this thing, I might actually be able to weld straight on to the, the base of the, the engine. Well, I mean, the, the frame. We'll see. All right, so last video for today. It's dark. I don't know if you can see any of this, but I got it. I got uh, this thing mounted for the jack shaft to mount on. I got this uh, second jack shaft. And... It's in the right spot and everything so uh, and also got them engine mounted so uh, tomorrow or the next time I, the next day I have time to work on this I'm gonna be working on the swing arms getting those set I guess uh, that means we're gonna have to bring the wheel back out here uh, oh yeah uh, I say back out here because I, when I was making this I had both of these bearings on the inside I had to change one to the outside because it would not have worked it would have caused issues with the wheel so yeah uh, that's what we got and yeah, swing arms next time. And once we do that, honestly, we could probably start working on the front front end, the, the steering stem, and the, the front, uh, front forks, getting those actually mounted on there. And then at that point, we could put the kickstand on and then start doing the final assembly of everything, I think, <laughs> with the bolts. Uh, that's the one thing I need to do is get bolts. Yeah, that's pretty much it for now, though. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more projects like this, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.